Tyler turned down a little bit. Hi, everybody, and welcome to a uh, little breakout EDU. I'm going to talk about the Locks app right now. It's uh, been recently uh, uploaded here for the uh, iOS for the uh, Apple Store. Uh, it's not quite available on Google Play quite yet. Hey, uh, K Word, how are you today? So there's been a lot of questions uh, about the app, about using it for breakout EDU. I have used it successfully for a second grade class. I've also used it for a seventh grade class. And I'm uh, here to talk about it because a lot of people have downloaded the app, but they're not quite sure um, how to use it. Oh, hey, Jen, how are you doing? Pardon me for my hair here. I gotta go outside in a little bit and do some yard work. So I'm gonna doing everything here. So let me talk about how this app works. Uh, first of all, breakout EDU, uh, it's known for locks. It was originally free. It's now a $2.99 app. It is both, uh, it's universal on iOS, so it's on iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, and so forth. I do know it is coming out for the Google Play Store. I'm not sure when the release date's gonna be. Um, so I'm gonna go over how you can use the app and the various ways you can also uh, practice using it for your classroom. So uh, first of all, let's go to Locks. And right away, now usually it'll do is it'll let you log in with the uh, screen here. Let me turn a little bit here so you can see it working a little bit. Um, you have text lock, number lock, directional shape, color. You have a set timer. <laughs> well, Jen, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to take you away from your yard work and then of course we both have to go to yard work once I get this finished. <laughs> um, you have the locks library, you have the ability to manage your account, you have to learn. If you hear sounds in the background, my son's watching his iPad. So um, the management account's pretty simple. Um, basically, you set up a free account and you can do your password and you can access it universally. I really like this feature because this way, if you've set it all up on your own personal device here, you can then sync it across your classroom board. You make a classroom account and just use it that way and just set them up different ways and so forth. Um, and you can even uh, go right to the website here uh, on the learn thing. They actually have some setup locks that you can download directly for the locks uh, app and everything else. So let me show you how this works. Um, first of all, uh, I'm going to show you the text lock. So I'm going to click on the text lock and it's immediately going to break me up here. Um, basically it says name your lock. So you got to name your lock first. So I'm just going to call this periscope test. I'm going to hit next. And now it's going to ask you to fill in the text. So basically is there has to be a lock you're going to, um, that the students are going to need to put in the, the break it. So in this case here, my text is going to be, I'm just going to make, I'm, since we're talking about yard work today, I'm going to put in yard. And as you can see, when you do, you're also going to add a timer to this. So when they uh, log into it, you can actually have it automatically set a timer. You can uh, time it with your breakout EDU with the 45 minutes, 30, whatever, less or more. And what's even better is you can also set it to be a shorter lock. So maybe you have a certain time lock you want to do this on to where they have to solve this one within a less amount of time and you can do that. So you can turn it on, it's pretty simple. You just turn it on, it'll bring up your numbers here so you can you know, put up your numbers or whatnot or your seconds and everything. You don't want it, you just turn it off. Um, but basically the text lock's gonna be yard. So I'm gonna hit net next. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you three choices um, when the lock is broken. You can add an image, you can add a text, or you can add a link. So if you have a video or something related to it, or using other apps like say the Adobe Spark program or stuff, you can just add the link here. So if I want to, I can just click on the link and when, it, um, when, when they solve the clue, uh, all they have to do is it'll take them directly to breakout edu. So and I'm going to save that and it's going to let you test it really quick. So it's got the lock name, um, sorry my camera, I should put it a little higher but I'm a much taller person so I kind of put the uh, angle a little bit better. And it's going to ask you for what the lock pass is and what it reveals and it'll also give you the teacher. And what you can do is you can either save it right to your lock library or you can save and activate. So I'm going to just do save and activate to test it. It's going to bring up here. Um, so here's the one thing that's the downside right now about the Locks app is unfortunately you can't set up with a picture um, or text before the lock is open for the clue. I know it's hopefully coming in a next update or two, um, but right now you can't unless you download a specific one from them where they have it already embedded. Um, it's just unfortunately the only limit of the lock right now. So you still have to have a paper clue to do the lock. So in this case, mine would be, you know, what do we do every weekend usually? We do yard work. So then the code is yard. Now here's what's so great about this and it'll unlock it and it'll take me right to the website here in a second. Of course I have a lot internet in the house so don't blame me. 
Um, but one thing that I do like about the locks app with the textual locks and the number locks is you can set them much larger. You don't have the limit to four characters or three characters or five characters. You can make them up to eight to 12 characters long. So that way it gives students more options to do all that. So I'm going to close this. Once it's done, it's going to ask me what, you know, for a password to, for the facilitator to do it. Um, and that's how it works. Now, what's really cool, too, is I really like the ability to have the color lock, the shape lock, and the directional lock. And the shape lock's really good because it can be a single code or it can be a multiple code. So I had one I had here, so I'm going to do shape lock. And your name it. Um, what I love to do is do coding, have a separate device for coding for Spheros, drones, Ollies, or Ozobots. And they have to activate the unit on that. And when they do it, they have to look for the color. Sometimes they have the objects changing colors. Sometimes they're doing specific patterns. And they have to figure it out. So I could program using the app Tickle as an example to make a certain lot. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call this Tickle app. And it gives me three directions. Star, circle, square, and triangle. So let's say I have an alley, which I do. And I, it, I'm gonna, they have to hit the tickle lock and it's gonna do a certain shape. So first time it does a square. The second time it does a triangle. And maybe for the final part, it spins around in a circle, an actual circle, so I do that. So then I do my next and then it says, well, what will be the reveal there? I'm gonna make it uh, reveal a picture. You have the ability to take a photo or one for camera. You can't do video to that. If you do a direct link, it works perfectly. You can do it to a YouTube video or an instruction or a Google Docs one. You can do that. But I'm going to do a camera roll. And I'm going to set a picture from a little something I'm doing for a garden project. So then people know that the, uh, the get the, the lock done is three. They have three plants in the picture. And that's the code to unlock the breakout EDU. So I'm going to hit save photo. It's going to give me a quick little breakdown called the tickle app, what the lock code is, and this. And then I can just turn on the timer now. I'm going to turn on the timer just for the sake of argument. I'm going to hit save, and then it's going to do it. So, yeah, definitely give it a try out. It, the students loved it, that I used it with the second grade class, and one of the ones we used for the seventh grade class, it was based all on comics. So we did that, and that was actually a little something, too, with logos, because a couple of the characters have stars for their logos. So we did comic characters with a star, so they had to realize there was three characters with a star, and then the one was a circle, so then they had to do that code. So we know, like I said, it does... Uh, square, then it's a triangle, then it goes around the circle, you enter, it breaks the lock, and there's their clue, the three uh, strawberry plants, so they nearly have to go undo the lock, is a code of three. And like I said, we'll just pop that in real quick. So um, that's how those work. The color works the same, directional works the same, you can do multiple characters, but you, what's so great about this is it stores it in a cloud library. So if I click on lock library, I have ones that are preset up, the time work, Dr. Johnson's lab, decoding the war, and then all my list of ones here, and they're all set and ready to go. Um, another small, um, another small, oh, thanks for the share, by the way, Jen. Another small drawback is here is they need to have the picture and stuff because sometimes if you're not careful and you don't keep logs of your little thing, you might forget <laughs> what the lock is. I mean, if worse comes to worse, then, you know, you can just, you know, delete it. You just swipe to the left and it deletes the lock. But um, there are pre-ones in here. There's the Time Warp, Dr. Johnson's Lab, which are all part of Breakout EDU. So if I go to the Time Warp one, it's right here is the Egyptian code, which is on their website. So you have to decipher what the letters are here in Egyptian, and they have to pop in the code and unlock something. I'm not going to do that one. Um, and then you have Dr. Johnson's lab. If I click this up, it brings up a picture of the Statue of Liberty. Um, by the way, it's, it's copper. That's what they're wondering for the elements. <laughs> I like when you get that wrong. It gives you up a little tay here that you've gotten it wrong. Oops, hold on a second. Had a text come in there. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna log out of that. Then you have decoding the war, which is really cool, which is this one sprint runner. But the code is it has the number four in here, so it's the Morse code for forty. See, if you get it wrong, you get it wrong. I'm doing this on purpose.
But as you can see, I have all these other ones uh, set up right here. Like uh, one was Superman Fly, and there's actually, the question is, what does Superman always say when he's on his way? Uh, up, up, and away. So the directional code is up, up, and of course away is down. And it brings up the Kryptonian alphabet I got from Pexels.com to use for it so the students are able to decipher the code. So we use this for the lockout EDU as well. So, and it's also really great because you actually have a set timer here. So if you want to do it to where you have a complete iPad school and you don't want to do YouTube video or anything, you can set the timer to do it and then it'll start the timer right there. It starts counting down. So that's a nice little thing about the app. So right now the only drawbacks are you can't add a picture or an opening text to each of the locks. You would still have to print out a clue or have something related to a clue for them to unlock it on an iPad or iOS device. It's only on iOS. It's not currently in the Google Play Store. And of course, it's just you know keeping track of exactly what your puzzles and locks are too, because like I said, they don't they don't let you do a description in it, so you might lose track of it. So those are the only drawbacks I found for the locks app. But for the price and the use of it for Breakout Edu is fantastic. So I highly recommend the app. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and hope everybody enjoys their yard work like I'm about to. So I'll see you later.